sketchbook one, sketchbook two, rainbow colored pencils, jumbo magic pencil warning, watercolor. Okay, let's go. Hi everyone. Following my Fabriano Venezia sketchbook review and flip through, today's video will be a similar concept whereby I take you through another one of my sketchbooks that isn't completely filled, but I just want to let go so that it doesn't mentally occupy my mind for the rest of the year. And I can move on to sketchbooks that I'm more excited to start using, which hopefully by the time this video is posted, I'll probably have started using those other sketchbooks. So, I had previously shown this pink talents sketchbook in this video here, and while I have used more of the sketchbook since then, I still have many pages left unused. The main reason is because the pages are rather yellow. I wouldn't even call it off-white. I can clearly tell there's a yellow tint to it without even having to compare it to other papers. This isn't completely a bad thing, it is good for the eyesight, but it's just something that I don't particularly like. Actually, before we take a look at that, let's start with this Jackson's soft cover sketchbook first, because I'd like to warn you all about something. This sketchbook was shown in my review video of the rainbow colored pencils and jumbo magic pencils from Amazon. The rainbow colored pencils are fine, no problems there. However, I've had two separate people let me know they've received completely different products to what they've had ordered from my link, which is from the East shop. And I had some other people tell me that they ordered from a different shop, like a different link completely, since it had my footage as part of the listing, and they received the correct products. I emailed my contact for clarification, and it's been several months, still no response. I just thought I'd put it out there to let you know as a form of PSA that I honestly don't know what's going on there. Now for the Talents sketchbook from the Art Creation range, I'm sure many of you are familiar with it already as it's rather affordable and quite available worldwide. I actually designed the two stickers on the front here. I have a whole video about it, so I'll link that below as well. And this year, I'm also back to using this motto, Don't Think, Just Paint. It's even made its way onto my no buy worksheet pack to help those that need a little help getting started with a no buy or low buy year. Let's begin the flip through. So you'll see that the first several pages are just random sketches as I hadn't really dedicated this sketchbook for anything. And then once I got to trying rainbow pencils, I started having fun sketching some architecture based subjects. This was really fun and challenging as it forced me to think about colors from a different perspective. Yellow being light value, oranges and greens as middle values, and red and blue as dark values. I also learned that the direction you color or fill in a shape is important as it can suggest movement of the subject. All of these aren't fully colored in, as most of these I tried to do in one sitting within 30 minutes per sketch. I liked it a lot when I was able to show myself a somewhat completed colorful piece instead of needing to work on it for a few days. Since art is my therapy, I truly value being able to see a piece coming together or the majority of the piece is there instead of seeing some bare bones sketch that isn't colorful nor substantial. Then, some of the following pages was just me experimenting with duotone palettes. I found this structure minimal enough to replicate over and over again in a short amount of time. And then, back to more rainbow pencil sketches, I'm sure you can tell I did a lot of these, which led to me developing a good sense of control over the colors applied onto the page. Obviously, I know that these were created using one single rainbow pencil, but I do wonder, as the audience, can you tell that these were made with one single rainbow pencil? 
or does it look like I just had a handful of colored pencils in hand and swapped accordingly? Still several pages left in the book, but I think that's fine. I want to just move on from this book while I still have good memories with it. Again, for those that don't really know, where possible, I like to glue or tape down the specifications of a sketchbook onto the inside back cover, just for personal reference should I happen to like or dislike the book once I finish it. Well, there you have it. That's the end of my rainbow colored pencil sketchbook flip through. I had so much fun sketching these, all I needed was the pencil, sketchbook, and a sharpener, and I was satisfied. But after all that, I think I need a bit of a break from rainbow pencil sketches. I still use it in my weekly watercolor painting sessions, but they're not as visible in that type of application. I just want to focus on normal colored pencils for now, well, for the near future at least. Well, I mean, in combination with watercolor painting, of course. Oh wait, how could I forget? Watercolor! So, I liked some of these a lot, but the paper isn't very suited for watercolor, so I scanned and printed these on watercolor paper. Then, I added some watercolor elements. I quite like that middle blue sky one. And then these two, I added some greenery in the form of bushes and flowering trees. And these were just more experimental stuff. And this last one was to show that transparent yellow oxide can be used in skies without getting greens. Alright, that's it for now. Don't forget to check out the description box below for links to things that I mentioned earlier. Okay, the end! As always, thank you so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated.